guys welcome to another video I'm Crystal if you're new here and if you're not thanks for coming back I don't know if you've all noticed my hair I really did it this time it is very short but I love it it is so much easier to fix I think it's very flattering on me and I love it so anyways I'm here today to bring you a Costco haul we were in Kalispell over the weekend, and so we decided to go to Costco to get our produce for this week. So I am going to show you what all we got. So I'm gonna talk kind of loud. I have the ice machine on and the air fryer. We're gonna start over here. We have six bell peppers. There are two yellow, two orange, and then two red. Organic celery sticks. These are um, the organic mini watermelon. They come in a two pack. And I like to have these better than I like to have a big watermelon. It seems like when we get these smaller ones, we don't waste them as much because we're able to eat the whole thing in a good timely fashion. I also like to do them for breakfast. I like to cut them in half and then just grab a spoon and dig into my half. They make a quick, easy on the go breakfast and we love them. Um, the angel sweet tomatoes, don't worry. This did not come like this. We've gotten in them twice and we've had um, two little snacks out of them. So we did that. This is the butter lettuce trio. You get three of them. It is the living lettuce. If you've ever seen the bottoms of it, they literally pull it right from the ground and package it. So you do need to wash it very well. If you have never had butter lettuce, you are missing out. It is one of the best lettuces that there ever is. There is nowhere that sells this kind of stuff near me though, so I don't get it very often. Back here we have some organic fresh squash. It's a combination of summer squash and zucchini. This is one of my favorite products from Costco. They are always so good and they are always in such good shape. I bought a bag of avocados. None of these are ready to eat, which is perfect because I have three on the counter that will be ready in the next couple days. Bananas. Can't ever have enough of them. I bought a box of mangoes. You get six ginormous ones, and I mean ginormous. They're like the size of my hand. You get six of these in a case, and these are also not quite ready yet. I'd say within about the next week, they're gonna start to be ready to eat, which is perfect. A whole bunch of tomatoes on the vine. These came in a case of them, and I did buy the whole case. These are like candy in the summertime. When you can get them fresh, they are wonderful. We have six of the organic English cucumbers. They come in a three pack and I got two of them. My favorite kind of cucumbers. A big bag of broccoli. This is just the romaine hearts. They come in a package of five. We eat a lot more salad in the summer than we do any other time, so. We will absolutely go through this. This is where the produce is gonna end and I'm gonna jump to the more like snacky type things. We did pistachios. These are just regular plain old pistachios. They don't have any funky flavors. They're just pistachios. These are for me because nobody else likes them. So, you know, more for me. They're the Kim Nori Roasted Seaweed Snack. It's in the sea salt flavor. These are easy on the go, little salty. I'm more into salty than I am sweet, so I love these. You get 24 of them in the container, so they're gonna last me for quite a while. We have two packages. You can see we opened this one and got into it on the way home. This is the Wild Ritz Coastal Berry Trail Mix. It comes with almonds, cashews, cranberries, yogurt chips, and blueberries. Usually, I'm not a huge fan of trail mixes, but this is one of my favorites. The ingredient list is not too terrible on this one. It's pretty short anyways. And Costco is the only place that has this particular brand, so we don't get it very often. So, like I said, I did get two of them. One for now and then one for later. We have a case of the extra large olives. These are just the whole olives. They are not sliced. This is a two pack of the baby dill garlic holes. They didn't have the big dill pickles. All they had were the babies. So I got this cause you know, better than nothing. And I love everything pickle. A bag of organic dried mangoes. We go through these like crazy. Um, these I've never actually had before. I've heard good things though. They're the outer aisle cauliflower sandwich rounds. You get two servings of vegetable in like each serving. 
and your ingredients, cauliflower, eggs, Parmesan cheese, nutritional yeast. Could I make these at home? Absolutely. Will I? Probably not. Maybe in the winter. That sounds like a winter type project, not a summer project when we're on the go and busy all the time. So these are the nutrition facts. If you guys want to school, screenshot this, two pieces has 100 calories, five grams of fat, nine grams of protein, and literally just what the front said, the focus, are the ingredients. Cauliflower, whole cage free, liquid eggs, Parmesan cheese, nutritional yeast. That's it. I'm excited to try these. Um, it says you can keep in the fridge for 30 days or frozen for six months, but I only bought one package because I wasn't sure if we were going to like them or not. So if we like them, the next time we go to Costco, I will get a few packages. And then the last thing we got there was just a rotisserie chicken. They are cheap there. I think it was $4.99 and I'm going to get a lot of meals out of these just easy stuff. I do have a recipe for an easy chicken salad coming this week, so stay in tune for that. I'm excited for that. So this was just what we got at Costco. I did get a few little things, nothing huge, when we went to Target, so I'm going to show you that real quick. So the first thing I got from Target is this cool jar. It's glass, but it's got the plastic on the outside, so it's not breakable. The lid snaps. And I was thinking it would be perfect for me to take to work with my smoothie bowls in it. It's leak proof, it's spill proof, it's drop proof, it looks perfect. And I think it's going to be big enough size. So I grabbed one of those at Target. It was $10.99 for anybody wondering. And then I got some of my favorite candy bars there. They were a little cheaper there than they are at Albertsons here. So I did grab a couple. We have the hazelnut butter dark chocolate. And if you've never had these, look at this. No refined sugar, no cane sugar, no sugar alcohols, no erythritol, no dairy, no soy, no palm oil. I mean, like, these are straight up good candy bars when you're looking for a good little treat. Every night before bed, I have one square of these and then just like a handful of nuts. Our current nut we're having right now is walnuts for this week. So I'll have one square of these and a couple walnuts before bed and I am totally satisfied. This one I've never had before. It's the crunchy mint dark chocolate. I did get two of those because I do love mint chocolate. You can see the label back here. It's time to get back to the way humans ate before the industry ruined food. Look at your ingredients. Organic cacao, organic unrefined coconut sugar, organic cocoa butter, organic cocoa nibs, organic peppermint oil. That's it. There is no junk in them. And then the last flavor, I've never had this one either. It is the salty dark chocolate. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of my produce Costco haul. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more things like this.